Hey what's up guys Thrill here with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to transform any regular photograph into a really cool looking photo effect in just a couple of minutes. So let's get started. So as you guys can see my image is already open inside Photoshop and if you want you can go to file and open any image you like. Now this image is from deventart.com and if you want to use this image the download link is in description and it's free so feel free to use it. Now uh, once the image is open inside Photoshop it is a very very high resolution so go to image and go to image size and reduce the height to maybe like 2000 so that your computer doesn't take too much of a load and then double click and unlock it. Now first of all we need to make the canvas bigger so select your crop tool and make sure that delete crop pixel is off and then make it bigger like that. Uh, I'm just making it wider because I thought that uh, in the final effect the wider frame worked really really nice and I'm gonna make it even a slightly bigger from here and a bit here. Hit enter. Now uh, once you think that this looks fine create a blank layer under your model layer let's rename it to model oops wrong keys okay model and then in this blank layer uh, make sure your foreground color is white so i'm going to make it white and then select your paint bucket tool from here and fill in the white color then uh, select your model layer press ctrl t and make it really smaller like that or maybe slightly bigger however you like uh, just make sure that it uh, the whole image is inside the frame so that looks kind of fine to me and if you want it in perfect center just press ctrl a and here you have this option so press the second one and then the second last one and your image is totally in center now ctrl d to remove the selection now uh, once you think that everything is final uh, apply a layer mask from here and then select your paint bucket tool and make sure that your foreground color is black and select your layer mask and fill in the black color in that so here paint bucket and then fill in the black color in that so image is right there but it is hidden inside the mask so now comes the part of brush so select a brush tool and i'm gonna load some brushes now these brushes are from brushes.com i guess and if you want to use any of this the download link is in the description and they are free so feel free to use them now go and select load brushes and load your br uh, paint file that you download the brush file dot abr and then load it and it will show you all the brush here as you can see so first of all I'm going to select this one and select your layer mask and make it slightly bigger and then click here uh, with white color. So you can use X key to flip your color so make sure foreground color is white while painting and then click here like that. So it will reveal the rest of the image. Now the brush is really big so I'm going to uh, use my big bracket key uh, to make it smaller and click here. If you have CS6 you can double click on your mask and decrease the density a little so you can see the background image. So that can be really helpful. Now click on this little icon here and it will open this brush options as you can see here. And after that click on any brush you want and I think this one looks fine. And then make it slightly bigger, select your mask layer and then uh, let's make it a bit smaller so that it covers the area and then click here like that. And after that uh, select another brush and this part is kind of a trial and error. You have to do it like three, four times differently so that you can figure out which uh, brush is kind of working perfect for the image so uh, original one took me like 10 or 15 minutes so it can uh, take you a bit longer but don't worry about it just reveal the basic area of the image like this using different different brushes and make sure that you do not get lazy into the process and use keep using the same brush over and over again and once you think that the whole area is completely revealed and it looks uh, okay enough uh, double click on your layer and make the density 100% so you can see the basic image and after that uh, select black color and start erasing the unnecessary parts oops the brush so after that uh, start erasing the unnecessary areas like this uh, keep changing your brush uh, now and then now and then and I'm gonna make it a bit like that and then you can you know, do it all the time and it takes a bit of a practice and once you are quite familiar with the brushes uh, it, it isn't gonna take a very long time so that looks kind of fine to me and a bit of strokes here and there So as you guys can see this looks really amazing and you could go all day and create different type of shapes around her. 
And once you decide that the final uh, output is good enough, uh, create another adjustment layer and select solid. And in the solid, create and uh, select any kind of bluish color. Uh, I don't know, uh, dark blue, very dark blue. And once uh, you select that, uh, put the blending mode onto the exclusion. So it will give that uh, high fashion yellowish look uh, with blue toning, I don't know. But it looks really good once you use it. So you can change it any way you want uh, since it's a solid layer, hit OK and it has made image a bit underexposed so create another adjustment layer and select levels and i'm going to increase the mids so we have a kind of a brighter image and you can also increase the highlights if you want so that looks really good and after that uh, you can create uh, i don't know light leaks so create another adjustment layer and in the brush this time select a regular round soft brush and uh, select any kind of uh, pinkish, bluish, whatever your favorite color is. So I'm going with uh, this type of pinkish color and then click here once or twice and then change the blending mode to screen so you have this cool color effect uh, around your model and then you can add any kind of text you want uh, as I have done. So thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions ask me in the comments. If you really did learn something hit that like button so I can know. You can also subscribe to my channel for the future updates. Uh, you can also check out this awesome tutorials by Tutorials Junction. Till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.